So today we've got a full body compound workout for you all. It orientates around the use of a barbell and you're going to be moving through different lifts at different rep ranges and varying rest rates. It's really well rounded and it'll give you a great head to toe workout. Throughout the next couple of videos, I'm going to take you through the tips and tricks and coaching points as to how to execute the movements well, give you a really well rounded workout. Okay, so first up we've got that military press. Now you're going to need a barbell for this one. Your options are if you're using a full Olympic barbell, you've got your 20 kilo or you've got your 15. It's going to be wrapped, so you are taking it out the rack into your front rack position. So you're going to be using where the rough becomes as smooth as your grip guide. So you can either go hook grip, which you film in, fingertips wrapped over, or you can go standard grip if that's more comfortable for you right now. What you need to ensure of is that when you've got the barbell within your hands, you've got a nice stable stacked position for wrist to forearm, so you've got that little bit of extra strength and control in the press. So all you're going to do is grip it, and you're going to come under the bar, rotate your elbows through and under, so they're nice and lifted in that front position so that my back is completely engaged, and from here I create a tension within my lower body and I slide the press to my shoulders. So all I'm doing from there is pressing directly up above my head, without hyperextending the spine, coming just from my shoulders, locking out the top of the crown on every single rep without letting the far half come backwards. It needs to come directly up and then directly back down to the chest. Each time we turn into the chest with control, making sure that this is your finishing position with every rep that you do. Once you have done around 10 to 12 reps, you're going to re-wrap the bar, take around 20 to 30 seconds to recover, three to four sets through. If you'd like to add weight onto the bar, you've got to encourage a little bit more contraction and strength within the trunk, that comes from the core, to keep your spine nice and stabilised and upright so the press is isolated to so just the shoulders. If you do require a little bit of momentum from the press, you can take it into a push press where you gather the momentum from the knees, drive up, catch and return to the chest. Okay, so we are going with a back squat for this one. Now you are working at a paused back squat. So your numbers are down for two, Hold at the bottom for four counts and then back up for two counts. As you are working within a back squat, you want to be careful about the load that you put onto the bar. If you would rather for this exercise focus on technique and not necessarily weight and load, you might be better off just going with the bar itself if you wish. You've got a 15 or a 20 kilo bar available to you, so pick whichever you would be more comfortable with and be able to move better. Now we're looking at the concept of time under tension within this one. So what you've got to make sure of is that your technique is crisp so you can really focus on and manipulate that time under tension and under that load of the bar itself. So all you're going to do where the rough becomes a smooth that is your grip guide, you can either go standard grip or hook for it where you pop the thumb under and wrap the fingers around. You're going to come under the bar, making sure that when you're coming under the bar, you are sitting your spine directly under the load so that when you lift, the control's there already. And then you're just going to step it out the rack find that positioning, screw the feet within the floor, and all you're doing there is descending for two counts. Brace the abs, sit back and down with a neutral spine, knees tracking over the toes, hold for four, three, two, one. And we're rising back up to the top of the movement and we're dropping back in for one, two. Got to pause either at parallel or below the knee crease if you can get it, and then rise again. Keep tension consistently throughout the body, bracing the abs, protecting the spine, a nice controlled movement throughout. I'm keeping my chest lifted and open. My core is braced and my head is forward. Remember, we want to keep a nice neutral spine so we don't want an excessive anterior tilt of the pelvis. So we don't want the bone to stick out. We want to keep the spine alignment nice and neutral, bracing throughout and just continuing to move with that strong pause at the bottom. Now with this exercise, each time you re-wrap the weight, make sure it's nice and safe. Come away for around a 90 second rest to really recover those legs as you're really going to feel the burn within this one. Each set will consist of 12 reps and you will do three sets in total of this exercise. Okay, so we've got an RDL next. This is your remaining deadlift. It is a take on the traditional standard deadlift. We're in a slightly different sitting position and we move slightly differently throughout this one. So what you're going to do is you need to make sure your feet are directly underneath your hips. My heels are grounded and my toes are planted also. What you are looking to do within this movement is master the hip hinge. The movement comes from here, so we need to make sure we're aware of that throughout the movement under load. So all I'm going to do from here is I'm hinging at the hip straight away. The tension within my spine is already there. 
I'm not content to it in my pool. As I'm coming down to pick up the barbell, the barbell is as close to my shins as I can get it into that sitting in position to take the bar from the floor. I've got an overhand grip, tension within my whole body, to pick the bar up. From here, I'm avoiding excessive curvature of the spine. I'm keeping it nice and neutral. My shoulders are directly above my hips, and then from here, I'm coming from the hips again, down towards the floor, keeping the bar as close as I physically can to my center of mass, controlling it, keeping my posterior chain, which is my back, completely engaged throughout, and I'm continuously moving nice and smooth with good control and minimal spinal flexion throughout the movement, keeping my core braced. Constantly keeping my head nice and level to not break that neutral spinal position. Breathing throughout the movement is really integral to maintaining tension. So you'll be doing 12 reps for three sets with 45 second rest between the sets that you do. Okay, so next up we have got that barbell reverse lunge. The barbell is going into a back position. So you're gonna have it at the top part of your back with your shoulders locked in and down. So again, you're gonna take the bar out the rack like you did before. And you're going when the roof comes smooth and you are coming under the bar, load it up above the spine and take it out that rack. Then from here, we're gonna be taking our right leg back first. So you've gotta keep your hips underneath your shoulders for this. Don't let that kyphoid posture around in the shoulders happen. Keep it nice and locked in and tension in the upper body. So all I'm doing from there is taking my foot back in that nice wide position. And then from there, I wanna keep my ankle nice and neutral. We don't wanna roll out on the ankle. We wanna keep the tension within it. Don't forget, this is loaded. So all I'm gonna do from there is I'm dropping down, my legs are parallel, and then back up. I'm gonna do 10 on this side. Keeping tension, keeping a nice, strong upper body position. Once I've done 10 on my right side, I'm then gonna switch to my left side. Find that position again. Nice, strong parallel position in the feet, knees, and thighs. Dropping again. Front knee does not go over the toe. We keep it nice and strong. We keep the control. Strong knees as well as that strong leg position. Once you've done 10 each side, you're gonna re-wrap the bar. Taking between 45 to 60 seconds between the sets that you do. 20 reps in a set, 10 right, 10 left. Three to four sets in total on this one. Okay, so next up you've got that pen blade row. Now the difference between this and your standardized barbell row is that the bar is coming directly off the floor with every rep that you're gonna do. Again, the hip hinge is the focus of this movement with a really strong neutral spinal position. So brace the abs throughout, block everything as one unit. So all we're gonna do is take a mid grip with a mid stance. So feet underneath the shoulders, you want the arch of the foot to be directly underneath the bar. Then from there, all we're gonna do overhand grip where the roof becomes smooth. We are taking the barbell from the floor, bracing the position, straight to the rib cage and back down. You are keeping the knees soft. The barbell is gonna touch the floor every time you roll, and you are coming right back into that position as you place the bar back down. You're gonna go eight to 12 reps within every set that you do, sticking to three sets in total with a 45 second recovery phase between each set that you do. Key to moving well in this movement itself is keeping the brace of the spine and working the midline of that back. So that is your full body compound workout. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you had a great workout in the process. And I look forward to training with you again soon.